Bristleback was already a broken hero I wanted to make a video about. 33 had 90% win rate with this guy a couple of days back and pretty much any player that is slightly competent and goes for the right build has a 60 plus percent win rate with Bristle at the moment. But the thing is, the right build was not complete until yesterday. Oh honey, it is beautiful. Collapse literally advanced Bristleback technology to never before levels in one day. The most unexpected decision. What if you never learned more than one point in Bristleback? You heard it right. The man is crazy, but he's also a genius. You might be confused right now. Why am I calling him a genius when this looks like the work of a Herald player? Well, basically Bristleback shoots quills based on how much damage you take. And that damage does not change with levels. But the calculation is based on damage after reductions rather than before, and thus pumping out quills faster than technology ever thought possible. We have technology. Just so you can understand what I'm talking about, here is one experiment for you. These two Ursas are identical in build, and the Bristlebacks have the same items and levels. The only difference is that one has one point in quill, and the other one has four plus the talent. What's interesting here is that the damage taken is not that different on the Bristlebacks, because the Lifesteal Talent and the Bloodstone gives a ton of sustain to both. But at the same time, the damage output is clearly higher on the Bristleback with only one point in the passive. Yes, science! Okay, so how do you play this hero? The starting items are Triple Branch, Double Mangoes, Gloves, and Tango. Your progression is rushing Ring into Vanguard, but in games you know your lane is stronger, you can actually get Arcane Boots first. I actually saw 33 skipping Vanguard completely when his lane is only. But the standard is Vanguard, you're gonna get yourself a stick, Arcane Boots, Eggs, Voodoo Mask into Shard into Bloodstone. After that, BKB, Kaya Sanj, Lotus Orb, Travels are all viable options and it's mostly about the order you're gonna be making them. Skill build is also fairly easy. Quills into Bristleback, you're gonna get Bagu at level four. You're gonna max your second spell, then your first spell. Your talents are also very easy, 20 damage. You don't really care about Bristleback, so you're gonna get the Goo talent, then Quill damage and Quill life steal. One of the big reasons this hero is good right now is the eggs, and a lot of people struggle to hit the timings these high MMR players hit because they are not efficient with their time. Watch how Collapse, after the laning stage, is constantly dragging creeps from the lane to camps, and this is actually important for two reasons. The obvious one is that you're farming more gold with the same amount of mana, which at this moment is a limited resource. But the second one is actually the most important part. It frees your support time to stack ancient camps for you. There's nothing for him to do because he can't be dragging the creeps alongside you. This is very important. Ask your four. Can you do this for me? Every single game, can you do this? To stack the freaking triangle for you. Tell him about the golden experience and all of the glory he's going to acquire by doing so. If you can do these two things, you will easily hit a fast eggs. And this is pretty much a guaranteed game if you hit a 13, 14 minute eggs. That said, even if you don't get the stacks, stack for you. It's okay. In this even game, he literally 100 to 0 PA, even though he had a rough lane, being 1 and 4 right now. 30 years in the business, I've never seen a knockout like that. We talked a lot about how one point in Bristleback is better, but one thing worth mentioning is a Bristleback that completed eggs just as fast, playing the normal build at 13 minutes, would have one, maybe two points in goo. That means once you get the shard, the difference in Minus Armor with Collapse's build and the slow that you're outputting is significant, you're gonna go from 9% to 36% slow and from minus six armor to minus nine armor. This hero is very good at taking Tormentor down. When the enemy team isn't really fast at taking theirs, don't be shy in trying to steal it. It takes very little time to do it, just stack a couple of quills and goo and just yoink it. When it comes to team fights, Bristleback is a beast, especially against heroes that have no movement spells or four staffs. The fastest way to kill someone is getting three or four goo charges on them and then using your eggs. That's shard plus two goos. There's probably no support in the game that can withstand that with a couple of right clicks on top of it. But later on, this hero has so much move speed that he can really chase anything if given the time. One interesting thing about Bristle, especially with this collapse build, is that he's way more of a carry than he is a tanky offlaner. This hero can tank for sure, but it's usually better that the fights don't start with you as the epicenter. Watch how they use Husker here as the bait, which allows collapse to go ham. This hero wants freedom in fights more than anything else. By the way, in this game, he did deviate from the build I talked about because there's a Viper on the enemy team, so rushing BKB here is actually awesome. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you lose a game with this build, tell your allies D2 Bowie sent you.